Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhair Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get today? Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6. For by d5, the main move. Now, open can advance the pawn, which becomes the advanced variation. Looks like the opponent is well versed with the opening. I'm expecting bishop here, but he doesn't do that. So I can flip on forward, simply e6, making sure my bishop is ready to get active. And I'll just like to make his pawn structure for the week, which does happen. I think I can give a check first. Spoil this castling. And after my opponent moves, I can proceed with whatever I wish feel like. So he comes up. I have to safeguard my bishop right now. So I'll just come back. The diagonal is nice. Why to leave control? His bishop is pretty much inactive now. If tries to develop, I can come here. Sorry, yeah. So his bishop would be generally coming now backwards, trying to make sure that he displaces my queen from there. On the other hand, what can we do? So maybe play pawn forward, trying to break things open from here. Yes, he does go back. Even I can come up or maybe go back completely. Okay, I'll take this first. He takes with the pawn mostly. I'll take this knight out of the game so that there's no threats later on. Yes, I have this queen retrieval, which is nice. Develop the knight so that there's no check threat as well coming. Which can be developed now. I can get my rook on the C file. It's trying to stop me from going anywhere with my queen maybe. I'll play pawn forward. Asking him to take if he really wants to. I can take back with the pawn or the knight. Knight would be better because I'm developing with momentum. So I'll take this first. My opponent takes. Oh, gets the knight out. Oh, doesn't change much because I still have lots of retrieval options with me. Uh, what? Which one do I choose is the question now. Uh, I can pin the knight maybe. This is also one way. Uh, and get my uh, bishop out maybe. Trying to take control of the diagonal. Someday I can play this as well. Okay, uh, let's come back, attack the pawn instead. It does take, I cannot take back, so I have to be a bit careful here. Hmm. Maybe bishop here and then knight. Knight would be nice. I want to take this bishop out of the game. And let's proceed with this. Yes, you can push the pawn forward. I have this knight move as well then. Which doesn't bother much. Queen here can cause some trouble, but I can move simple. Looks in control for now. He gets rid of trying to get this bishop out, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's get going with the knight then. I think bishop comes here. Or maybe here as well. Either is possible. Okay, pushes the pawn forward instead. Uh, which leaves me to a couple of options. And this looks nice to me, actually. Um, yes, his queen might come here. I'll go here. Then you can play pawn forward and give discoveries. But that's more or less it. Nothing more than that from there. Meanwhile, I'll be attacking his bishop. Okay, let's go. Attacking the bishop. He can take. 
with the bishop i'll take back with the pawn yep three dash take i'll take two i can get my rook active knight is now coming on two good squares i would say okay you cannot take that pawn for sure at least not for now yes knight back and then you're attacking it twice what if knight goes back we are coming with a check first coming with the knight coming with the bishop and all of a sudden there's a lot of momentum happening uh i like to place it ahead goes back i can defend with the bishop or the knight knight looks more aggressive right now because that's a couple of things so both are possible right now and let's see what happens because it's looking fine for now and we can go about it from both the places and let's see what happens and yes we can get up the bishop as well and try to screw the opponent over okay i get this i'll take comes with an attack this is possible still okay i'll give a check this is nice and i can take next with the bishop as well um what do we do here i think i should take with the bishop makes sense he can take i can take back too or i can go here maybe take something else um i think i should first give a check and then proceed for anything else check is always nice i can castle either anytime and my king will be suddenly safe and nothing happens uh this is a nice folk though but i cannot take this otherwise this happens so i'll just first castle preparing for the folk now i can play my pawn forward i can get this uh, knight more active which is a folk coming this knight is already pinned there so cannot do much about it uh so yeah let's go for the folk i would say you can take my bishop uh i'll take his rook uh okay let's take the pawn but that doesn't bother us much i'll just give a check first from the diagonal i have this pawn coming forward too uh how is knight knight is also nice it's better here because i can then give it a uh, check is that mate uh that probably oh no i my knight is not guarding it anymore so i have to take the rook first does take i have this knight move coming maybe this is better or i should have given a check first yeah that would have taken everything away it's okay we'll go with the queen now attacking the knight and he gives the knight for free uh we are not worried about what the opponent is doing there we are attacking right now uh i take with the knight and give a check let's see where the opponent goes i think here and here are the two three options available yep okay goes here i have this check coming from the queen which makes him go over here which is the last square i think and then it's checkmate just follow the king with your queen wherever the king goes 
running and you'll just find mating sequence. That was nice at the end. I just got his king on my side of the board and checkmated him. So yeah, I like this game for sure. Let's analyze the game quickly from computer perspective once. Um, side off with e4, I played c6. Uh, d4 by the opponent, I played d5. The card card defense uh, becomes the advanced variation because my opponent advances the pawn on e5. Could have took, which would have become the exchange variation or developed the knight on any of the respective squares and becomes the main Karukan line. Uh, I go with bishop f5 and then often plays h3. I go with pawn e6, standard moves in the Karukan. Here I played uh, bishop to e4 first, making sure that uh, he plays this pawn forward because that's always weakening. That's what happens. And then I give a check first, making sure his castling is spoiled. And then I go back with the bishop, right, moves all over there. And then going for the pawn break uh, from the C file, open defense, I take the pawn. Uh, so we exchange stuff. And then I took on the knight as well, uh, which open takes back. And I go with knight to C6. And then open plays pawn forward G5, trying to trap my queen somehow. But that was never going to happen. I play H6. Opponent plays pawn forward to f4. I take on the pawn and opponent develops the knight instead. And I pin the knight there by playing pawn forward. Opponent does take the pawn. And uh, then I go with bishop over to b4. Opponent plays a3. Yes. And I come back now on e7, attacking the pawn. Then I get the bishop back on d8. Right move. King sidesteps on f2. I develop the knight, trying to go for knight over to uh, f5 and then taking on the bishop on e3 was the plan but here my opponent played the pawn forward first so i have to move my knight so i took it on a5 i was expecting this queen move i was thinking that this is can be one of the plans because uh, my opponent might be thinking of playing pawn forward any point of time uh, here i had a couple of options either to castle or to just go with knight to c first so that uh, Yes, this can happen and I can just move sidestep or I can uh, get my knight also in between, connecting both my knights. And I don't think there's much threat here. Yes, opponent gets an extra pawn uh, by taking here with the queen. Uh, but yeah, we are pretty good because I can also take with the pawn or the bishop. Both are pretty much okay here. Uh, why to spoil pawn structure when you can take with the bishop. And then this looks nice because I have already a couple of attackers here. Opponent is defending it uh, thrice actually. I can get one more attacker and maybe queen can also come into the attack or I can castle and get the other rook also attacking on the pawn. And some pawn break in the center would always help. So yeah, I was going about the attacking throughout this game from the opening. Uh, my opponent takes on the knight there. I take back with the pawn. Uh, tries to attack my pawn, I get my rook on c8, always a nice square for the rook. Opponent tries to double attack my pawn now with the rook and the queen, so I have to move pawn forward. That's what I do. Opponent goes back, and I then go with knight to d5, the right move again, because I'm attacking the bishop, I'm defending the pawn, and centralizing my knight, everything at the same time, and you cannot find a better move than that at that point of time. And then my opponent lets go of the bishop strangely, and I took it. And then uh, queen was attacked, so he tried to move his queen now. And I can take on the pawn, but I gave a check with the knight for saving my knight. Then I took on the pawn. Uh, my opponent takes on a pawn at b7 because he thought that he has got some good pawns here to advance and uh, promote them to queen someday. But that was never going to happen because my attack was too fast or my opponent's liking. I castle here, making sure my rooks are connected because the rook was undefended. Queen was attacking it. And not just the pawn, but the rook as well. So had to do that. Here my opponent played a5, trying to go with his plan. I gave a check because I had a fork and I could take on the rook there. I did. Opponent takes a pawn there. I can proceed with the pawn, uh, is what computer suggesting. But I gave a check first with the queen. Uh, opponent moves and then I get my knight on g3. Uh, opponent takes on here, I take back. Opponent does take back to. I go on with my knight 
often tries to run away to as far as possible because he thought that he has pawns, good pawns helping him, but that was never the case. I took on the knight first, uh, then went to the check, pushing my opponent to the corner, and then I take on with the knight. My opponent doesn't take my knight with the queen, thinking that he can save a mate. Uh, okay, it was mate in one, but I did it in two, so it's okay, I had a lot of time. I went with queen b4, and then opponent moves the queen, uh, king to a6, and that was mate. So, I hope it was a nice game. Uh, I liked it for sure. Let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.